Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd, and we're picking up right where we left off. Yesterday, we talked about that power of prayer, and today we're going to kind of take it in a different direction, um, and I don't want to reveal too much, so we're going to dive right in. So we're starting in Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 7. Now, yesterday, just to review, we saw that Jesus told the disciples that there's a type of demon that is so powerful, so difficult to get rid of, that it can only be, um, it can only be expelled or taken out through prayer. It takes that great power of prayer that we saw in James 5. So as we go to Zephaniah 1-7, we see something very different. Be silent before the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is near. The Lord has prepared a sacrifice and consecrated his guests. Now, why are we being told to be silent before God? Because a huge part of a dynamic prayer life is taking that time to just sit and be quiet in God's presence. Sit and take that time to just bask in his presence. And when you do that, you will find that the Holy Spirit will communicate with you. And we may be talking about how the Holy Spirit communicates with us next week. But be aware that there's power in when you take that time to sit in God's presence and be silent. So you start your prayer. You don't quite end it. You sit in silence. You listen. You listen for that direction. You just enjoy who being in God's presence. Next, we're turning to Habakkuk verse two, verse two, chapter two, verse 20. And it says, but the Lord is in his temple. Now this is Lord L-O-R-D, capital L-O-R-D. Let all the earth keep silence before him. It's coming to him with that reverence and that holy Hush, you're coming to him with that silence and you're just sitting there in awe of who he is. That's what that's like to bask in his presence. Now, you may be surprised at the next scripture we're going to because it's Revelation chapter 8, verses 1 through 5. Because again, we're going to see that there's this holy hush. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven. For about half an hour. Now that's something that I'm going to be digging into and I may share it with you on Thursday or Friday. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I'm wondering why half an hour? Does it have something to do when Je with when Jesus said my hour has not yet come and when Jesus said the hour is here meaning that it's an event? What is it? Is it actually 30 minutes? I'm digging into that. I'm going to find out more about that. Chap verse 2, then I saw the seven angels who stand before God and seven trumpets were given to them. And another angel came and stood at the altar with a golden censer and he was given much incense to offer the prayers of the saints on the golden altar before the throne. Those prayers have turned into incense and they're wafting all around that throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. And one of the things that I wanted to point out to you here is that the, the, those prayers have a scent when they hit the throne room of God. God can smell your prayers. He can feel your prayers. He doesn't just hear your prayers. He doesn't just see you praying. It goes straight to God's heart and he responds. And that makes it mighty. That makes it have an enormous amount of impact. And once again, I'm gonna remind you, just as I told you yesterday, when you pray, hell trembles and heaven is rejoicing. Verse five. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar and threw it on the earth. And there were peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Those prayers had so much impact that when the angel took the censer that had that incense, 
He filled it with fire from the altar. That's God responding to the prayers. It gets thrown to earth and the entire earth shakes. There's earthquakes, thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning. Recognize the power that you have just in the fact that God gave you the ability to go straight to him to pray. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.